Hi, I'm Dr. Raj. One of the things I get patients referred for treatment is recurrent urinary tract infections. So these patients have been having infections over and over. So they try one antibiotic, get better, shortly after they get another infection needing an antibiotic. So this can go on and on, and now you kill all the bacteria in your bowel, and now you have something called inflammatory bowel disease as well. And sometimes it's called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And from that is from killing all the good bacteria, now you have invasion of bad bacteria, an overgrowth of bad bacteria, as well as sometimes you get fungal infections. And infections are more common in patients who are diabetic, who are obese, who have chronic constipation, because all the bacteria that causes urinary tract infections, guess where they live? They live in the colon. So there's a different, de definite relationship between colon bacteria and, and urinary tract infections. So I pay very much attention to overall health because if the patient is healthy, chances are you should not be getting any urinary tract infections. Another reason for urinary tract infections is opiate or drug use. When you use pain medication, it typically causes constipation, urinary retention of both. So the more pain medication you take, the more fecal retention you have. So you never empty your bubble very well. And eventually, you're gonna have problems not only related to constipation, but urinary retention and urinary tract infections. So sometimes urinary tract infections are not that easy to clear because unless you take care of the whole patient and take care of all the things causing infections, you're gonna be chasing your tail, giving them all kinds of antibiotics back and forth and the patient keeps coming back and you get frustrated. So the common things as a urologist, I gotta make sure there's the urinary tract or the plumbing from the kidneys down is all intact. So I would do a KUB x-ray to make sure there's no kidney stones. And on the x-ray, I can also see what the bowel looks like. So normally, the bowel should not have a lot of feces from the cecum, which is down here, up to the hepatic flexure, transverse colon, descending colon, and the sigmoid colon. So a patient who has normal bowel movements one or two times a day should not have a lot of fecal material retained. So typically all these patients with urine tract infections, the KUB x-ray is all kind of ground glass. You see all this fecal material all over and the, urine, the colon girth or the circumference of the colon is not nice and tight like it should be. It gets distended and now you have even more feces retained and it never gets out. So I pay a lot of attention to colon health when I make sure there's not other reasons like kidney stones, uh, obstruction, uh, could be a stricture or something that's causing a blockage from the kidney coming out or from the bladder going down. So once you rule out all the common urological reasons for urinary tract infection, now you gotta pay attention to the whole patient. I do it simultaneously anyway. So it's important to take care of infections quickly, find the cause, and go after the cause.